Hi everybody, Julie Sheramito here with JS Mortgages and I want to do a little bit of a series and we're going to talk about the psychology of what's happening with interest rates, with the Bank of Canada, with the housing market, with the economy in general. And I'm certainly not an economist, so take everything with a grain of salt, but I just want to give you my perspective on what we're seeing and what I'm hearing. So there's a lot of uh, negative media out there that is a little bit in the business of fear mongering. It's not to say that they're wrong with what they're putting out there, but it generates a lot of anxiety for people. The Bank of Canada is probably going to increase their interest rates again, 0.5 maybe at the next meeting in July, maybe another 0.5 after that, maybe another 0.25 after that. And all of that has us feeling really, really anxious. And I get that. The real key thing to keep in mind here is that we still aren't even at their overnight rate, like the Bank of Canada's rate, from before the pandemic started. So it's a huge jump compared to where we were. And when you put all of those together, it adds up to feeling like a lot because you're seeing it happen month after month. If we talk about a one and a half percent increase in general, though, this is not um, going to it, it's not going to bankrupt most people, I guess is the best way to put it. So a couple of things to keep in mind when you see headlines about what the Bank of Canada is doing, just know that if you're in a if you're in an adjustable rate mortgage and your monthly payment is changing, you will have to pay more for your mortgage. Life is getting more expensive right now. Mortgages are getting more expensive, and that's what the Bank of Canada is really working towards doing is making it more expensive so that maybe we spend less as consumers, which is part two of the psychology series. But just know that when you read those headlines, the sky is not falling. It is going to get more expensive, and it does feel intense but if you want to talk about the dollarization of it and we can go through how much that's going to cost you per month more um, happy to do that and we can kind of plan for those now so that when they come they're not as big of a surprise or when you read the next headline it's not quite as jarring okay stay tuned for part two